Hey guys, so let's start building this. I already have a, a preview video on the channel. Okay, it should be uploaded. So uh, you will, but well, let's just take a look at how this uh, or what we are going to build. I'm not going to test it, um, you know, um, all the way. You can check the preview. If you want to see uh, what we are going to build, so you can see that we have these little tags. You could later add the tag system that fetches uh, everything depending on the tag that you click, and you will see how that works. Um, so once you understand how we are fetching this, it is going to be easy for you to uh, get all that. So yeah, the tags that are coming from Firebase. Um, the new post, let's say other post, just to have something um, something. If I can type, fuck it, just new file. Let's uh, add a new post. Let me see something that I can use here. This one maybe it seems that it's too big, but and I'm going to say. You, we can change all this, okay? And right now we cannot add more, but you can easily create something that um, adds another tag or several tags. You will see how we handle different um, uh, files and requests, okay? So this is the one. So you will understand how all this works and you will have the idea of how to um, start adding more functionality. Okay, so as I said, this is going to be a little more in-depth, a little more uh, intermediate um, tutorial. But I'll try to explain what everything is doing. And yeah, so let's start. I already have this one so let me just go and say angular cli as i said uh, in the preview uh, check that if you don't know uh, what's going on um this one is using angular 8 okay so for that um, you will need to update your cli if you already have it or install this okay using npm install dash g angular cli and in order to create your um, this thing, okay, let me just okay. I already have this one created. That is Angular Firebase uh, RxJS. Okay, this is uh, just um, what you get after you run the ng new and the name of the app. Okay, you cd into that and you just say ng serve. We're going to do that in a second to. Um, open the server, the local server, and start um, creating your application. So all this is going to create, it's going to install the CLI and create your um, your scaffolding of the application, okay? So you will end up with something similar to this. Let me just, okay? With these folders, okay? And inside the source, you will find the app. So let me show you. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you will need Node.js 12, okay, for this version of Angular. So just go ahead and install this one. Um, if you already have Node 12, I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I hope so. You can try it. If not, you will need to um, reinstall not using this one. Um, you should be fine. You might um, have some problems with other, um, you know, upgrading a current uh, Angular from 7 to 8. So it's going to be better for you um, to start another one. Okay, installing all the things you need uh, and the CLI and the Node 12. Because if you use Angular, I mean Angular, um, yeah, Angular with Firebase, 
um, we're going to have to update the Firebase components and all that shit. It's a ton of, of work. So that's why if you're going to start with this, just um, create a new one. Okay, update all your things, Node and Angular, and create a new application. Okay, so you can uh, have this. Um, uh, yeah. So after all that shit, what we're going to do? I have this one running, but this one is the preview. Okay, let's control uh, C to cancel that. So what I'm going to do is open this git bash here and say ng serve. No, before that, let's actually install. So we're going to use the Angular 8 features. Okay. So let's actually install Firebase, but we are not going to we are not going to install Firebase the way it used to be, like using um, Angular Fire. Okay. We are going to use the schematics. So we are not going to run this, but we're going to run is a, I think this is for the new version, of course, the schematics, it should be for Angular 8. We're going to run a ng add, okay, this doesn't let me type the add, okay, symbol for a reason. So let's paste that, okay, so we have ng add, add angular fire and we click enter so let's uh, give it a second okay. so this is going to install everything from firebase okay so it's going to actually do all this okay that we uh, do with angular fire it's going to set all the the project okay we still need to create this of course but it's going to set all the things we need in order to use Firebase. We are going to import it the same way we use with Angular 7, Angular 6. Okay, so but this is the only difference that is going to happen uh, with the setup of the application. But after you run your um, your CLI and create your application, you are going to run inside your um, I have this one open okay inside your application folder okay here you're going to run ng add add angular fire just like that and it's going to uh, install all that okay so while that is installed I'm just going to move that for uh, to my other screen let's create this one that is going to be angular just go to Firebase and create a new project, Angular. If you don't have a, an account, just create an account. You can uh, create a new um, account using your Chrome, uh, your Chrome, <laughs> your Google uh, user, okay? Your Gmail. So let's say Angular in Firebase RxJS, just like that. We're going to use RxJS, okay? Together with Firebase, I'm not going to install the RxJS Firebase that RxJS Fire thing is the module that allows us to use Firebase. No, we're going to use the the RxJS version that comes with um, Angular. Okay, so let's say continue. So this one is going to take a bit. Okay, it actually does um, a ton of things. So it's going to take a bit. So let's say uh, no, we don't want this that this is for the analytics we don't want that so let's create the project it's going to take a bit okay so let's wait for that so yeah let's close all this if you want you can also install it using this okay but since we have the schematics meaning ng add is something similar to what we did uh, in the past using a uh, progress web apps okay you added a um, and you set ng add um, angular progress web app in order to install all the packages and dependencies for um, angular to be able to have progressive web app uh, functionalities 
Okay. Now we have this angular Firebase RxJS done. Let's click here and we're going to get or by I said register a new application. Okay. Why I said and that you need to create um, something um, a new project because here is the problem. Let me see the name of the package. If you have a Firebase and Angular application and you want to uh, add uh, or upgrade that, as I said, you need not a uh, version 12 and what is going to break is going to break this year PC okay that comes um, inside Firebase it's going to break that and you will need to um, rebuild the package okay install your new versions rebuild the package and expect that to um, fix the problem oh I made a mistake here because this is not going to work Remember that, okay? And we need um, to select what we have. So let's actually close this. Okay, cancel that. Okay, so actually that is going to be helpful. Let's go to no the CMD because we need this. We are here, so let's see CD. Um, I mean, sorry, dear. We are here on my desktop. For my user, that is this one. So, okay, what the hell? We're going to CD into desktop. Okay, we're going to see what is in the desktop. So, what I'm using is um, Angular Firebase. So, this is my directory that I'm working with. So, let's say a CD into Angular. Electron no angular firebase rxjs okay let's say there to see what we have we see we have another folder let's say cd angular okay, firebase let's um let's add well, why is not letting me oh because okay uh, we hit tab and we get the autocomplete so let's click enter here and let's see what we have inside this directory we can see we have all our configurations and you want to see the package JSON and then let's actually say ng add here we can have this add symbol angular fire okay so that is what we're going to add so let's say uh, this um, okay it's going to take a uh, what Skip installation, a uh, package already installed, so it's going to um, in a few seconds prompt us with what we want to add. So let's register this Angular RxJS, Angular Fire Base RxJS. We are going to skip this hosting because we will add that here. Okay, it should install all that we need. So register the application. Let's wait for this. Okay, so this is going to give us what we need. But okay, and let's wait a second. Now we need to select which one we're going to use. Remember that we build this Angular Firebase RxJS. Let's um, say enter. Okay, and now this project. Um, is going to be binded with what we have in the Angular uh, application, okay? But we still need to get all this, so let's um, let's have this one finish here because we are going to um, add Angular, uh, I mean uh, Firebase, in the other video, in the next video, so you can see how that is because um yeah so we have all the setup here with the modules um yeah, yeah so let's let's cut it here i mean i'm going to um do this let's cut it here and let's continue in the next video